hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel i know i've been missing for over a month but youtube has stressed me out honestly so because it's hard to put in the work and i get the results we want and as you can tell by my voice i'm sick but i'm getting better now i was bored and i tried to do this meal with tissue in the night and in the morning i said why not try and do it for a youtube video right here i'm just going to measure the amount that i will want for my meal and when you're doing this you're going to measure from side wall to side wall for the glue i'll be using some poly gel i didn't prep my nails because i didn't want these nails to stay on i wanted these nails to fall off in the next two days I applied some base coat on my natural nail and on the tissue up to where my natural nail ends. This will help to blend my natural nail and the tissue together. When I cure the tissue, I pinch the nail together in the nail shape that I want. I used the top coat on the top part of the tissue and on the underneath so that it will have a crisp dry outer covering. If I used the base coat it would have been sticky. Right here I'm showing you how I hold the nail in the nail lamp. If you don't hold the nail like this it won't have a curve it would be flat. So this is how it came out, it was pretty sturdy enough to apply the poly gel onto. I'm just gonna repeat the same process for the other nails. I used the rose pink Damador poly gel for the base. The night that I did the pinky finger, I discovered a method that I would stick with because it worked for me. So what I did is to place a first bead of poly gel from the ending of my natural nail up onto the tip and cure that and then did a second bead. Then did a second bead and then place another bead critical area and blend it out with that I just did. And then I would do another bead on the critical area to make the apex bigger. I didn't place a second bead in the cuticle area on this one because the second bead I placed on the top was enough to come down in the cuticle area. Just a little tip, when you are measuring the big fingernail, you can measure it to, to your middle finger to make sure it's the same length. I piled and shaped the cuticle area because the nail was a little thick. Bye. 
So now I'm going to apply two coats of white onto the nail. This is um, number 35 and the company name is Jinting. I always apply nail polish messy so this time I use a Q-tip with some alcohol and remove the polish around the edge. These are the glitters I'm going to be using on the nail. I'm going for a sort of a glitter milk bar look. I applied a thin layer of face coat so that the glitters will stick to the nail. You don't have to put this all over the nail, just where you want the glitters to be. Bye. Now for the milk bath look, I'm going to take some clear poly gel and use just a bit of white poly gel to mix with that and encapsulate the glitters. So after filing the nails and adding the cuticle oil, this is how they turned out. They were a little bit thick but this is the closest I've ever come to perfect. With, even with the apex, I'm not so good with the apex and this is the closest I've ever come to perfect. I just wanted to throw in this cute video of my baby cousin, she's 5 years old. She was inspired to do my nails after watching me edit this video and I just wanted to let you guys know if she can learn how to do it for my videos, you can too. <laughs>